guys, we're here and we're doing the brakes today. <laughs> get this fucking thing on. Any suggestions? All right, so editing Dave here. What I did was drill out that screw and I just put the rotors on without a screw. So let's hope it doesn't fall off. I already did the other side and I already got this rotor off, the old rotor. It's right there. Let me rehash what I've done. You gotta take the caliper off. And then you take the brake pad hold our thing off and we're gonna pop these back in new ones in like so we're gonna put this back on using 18 millimeter then we're gonna throw this back on that's 19 millimeter and then we'll put our wheel back on and hopefully oh and you gotta compress these I got a c-clamp right there to compress that so I know it's short, I know it's not helpful, but maybe it'll help you out in a pinch to change the uh, brakes. All right, so these are our pads. So you got an inner, and then you got the outer. So those are gonna just pop right in. Let's see if I can do that one-handed. All right, that's in. All right, now we're gonna get, we're gonna use our C-clamp and we're gonna compress those little pistons back in. That way it'll fit around our rotor and our brake pads. All right, and just like that, they're compressed. So let's pop them on here and we're gonna screw them back on. All right, that's on. Now we just gotta get the wheel back in. There's gonna be 22. Get those a little hand tight. Always go star pattern. You want the wheel to go on evenly, you know what I mean? You don't want it to be kinked. Go ahead. I'm gonna hit those with a. this thing on and we should be good to go Sweet, how to do the brake pads on a, and the rotors on a uh, 2013 Chevy Silverado.